The Newberry Concert came about through the work of one person primarily is a musicologist by the name of Howard Mayer Brown at the University of Chicago. In the early 80s, uh, Howard was on the board of trustees for the Newberry Library and was influential in getting them to have their marvelous and large and wonderful music collection um, available to the public in the form of performances. The relationship of the consort to the Newberry Library has evolved dramatically over the past 25 years. We went from being a totally within the library and functioning there to being now our own separate arts organization. The Newberry Consort is unique. The repertoire that we perform is so wide-ranging. In order to bring that music to the public in any kind of meaningful way, we have to draw on a really wide range of players and singers. We provide such amazing variety. Uh, in any one season, we may have 30 to 40 different wonderful musicians on our stages. And the music will range from the 13th century to the 19th century, uh, Baroque, Medieval, Mid Middle Ages, and even within those time periods, so many different specific wonderful repertories. I think our, our audiences appreciate that and always know that whatever it is they're going to experience, it's going to be wonderful. Chicago has a, a really lively cultural scene and one that's very open-minded. Our audiences are, are smart and curious. I like to invoke the creativity not just of myself but of all the other musicians that I perform with and I think it's that's the kind of, of, of spark on stage that people are aware of when they when they hear one of our performances. The community that supports the Newberry Consort is essential to us. It's essential artistically, it's essential uh, for our infrastructure and for our survival in a modern world that uh, doesn't make it easy to make art. One of the most important things that our community does is to spread the word and welcome more people into it.